so in the first video we were able to solve the time being about 0.5 seconds um, give or take a little bit but 0.5 is good enough for, for, for government actually government is pretty more precise than most part. anyway um, the second question is asking well what what velocity does it have in the in the uh, x direction in order for it to travel that distance of 0.4 meters in 0.5 seconds well that's actually not that difficult to solve once we solve for time. So we're talking about motion in the x direction, okay? And we're trying to determine the initial velocity or the final velocity. And with time, it's, it's not that difficult. So going back to this equation of x uh, final equals x initial plus v initial t one half a t squared, okay? So my final position is going to be 0.4 meters. My initial position is going to be zero, so I'm going to leave that off. Okay? But this is not important this time, because it's going to be equal to zero. My initial velocity, I have no idea what that is. But I do now know my time to be 0.5 seconds. Okay? My acceleration, well that's zero, which drives this whole term zero. So one half of zero is zero. Zero times t squared is zero. So it turns out that this time, that term isn't important, okay? So I'm just left with 0.4 is equal to v initial times 0.5. Well, it's gonna be 0.4 divided by 0.5 of a meter per second, okay? And that's going to equal my initial velocity. Cool? Now, the way we should really express this is four fifths meter per second. Okay? And that is going to be my initial velocity. So that's how I solve this problem. Cool?